Hello, this is Tom Bailey, English teacher and TV and radio broadcast teacher at Northside High School. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, actually download and install uh, open broadcast software, OBS, uh, because it's going to be very handy when we actually start broadcasting and doing full set full-size productions and broadcasting and live stream for our extracurricular events and other things. Um, so one of the cool parts about OBS is that you don't actually have to install it in the classical sense where it becomes part of your operating system and goes into C drive and all stuff like that. You can actually um, install the program and have it work in its functionality because it's also known as a desktop portable application. In other words, you can just unzip all of the files and keep them in one location and then you can open up the the actual application from a particular folder and then you can run the program as is so i am going to show you how to do that so the first thing that you need to do in order to get obs is you can actually just look up um, open broadcast software and you can see it's already saved as a thing in, as a search item in my uh, search bar. So OBS, Open Broadcast Software, if you click on the website, it'll take you to obsproject.com. They're an organization that actually makes this accessible, um, this, this program, so it's not for profit. Nonetheless, how do you actually install it? Well, you don't actually install using this because we don't have the rights to do that because we don't have admin access to our hard drives on these computers. Um, but we can, click on this download button in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to click on it and that'll take us to a page that looks like this. Once again, I'm going to scroll down and this time I'm actually going to pick download the zip file. The zip file will uh, download to our hard drive and I'll show you what we're going to do with it. So I'm going to click download the zip file. So as you can see in my lower left hand corner, the zip file is 93.3 megabytes. So it comes down um, kind of slowly compared to like your instantaneous downloads that you have for smaller files and the like. So it's going to download. And once it downloads, once I see that the download has been complete, I'm going to uh, go to that file. So now that it's downloaded, I'm actually going to right click on the file and I'm going to say uh, show in folder. So I click show in folder and Windows Explorer is going to open for me any second now. And I'm just going to navigate to it this way because it's taking its sweet time. And I'm going to go to downloads and you'll see that OBS 2.508 is in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, cut and paste this to the desktop. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit Control X. And then I'm going to put it on the desktop of this computer because that's where I'm going to want to install this. So now I'm going to hit Control V, which is to paste. And as you see, the zip file is here. But this is only one step in the process. After you have the zip file, you should right click over the zip file for OBS and you pick extract all now at this point it asks like is that the folder that you want to create for it and that's what you want so we're just going to hit extract now it takes a minute to extract depending on the speed of your processor and things like that because this was a 94 megabyte uh, set of files and scripts and, and lines so it was a fairly big um, program and as you can see it's taking its time and that was true for the student machines that I've used it on as well as the one I'm currently using. So as it's thinking one of the things that's going to happen then is all of the folders that were inside of that zip file are being created into the directory known as OBS Studio 25.8 F all that stuff. So you can see it's accelerated So now that uh, the folder has been extracted, it actually, by default, this program takes you to what it looks like. Um, we're gonna, I'm actually going to close this because I want to show you how to navigate then to the application. So step one for our computers is you just double click on the folder. It takes you here. The next thing is if you click on this folder that says bin, it has 64-bit 
you double click on that and then you scroll down to where it says OBS 64. You can open up the program by double clicking on that application. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. And now that I've opened up the application, the OBS software is going to appear on the screen here. And as you can see, OBS software is currently running. It's even picking up my microphone. Um, but I'm going to close it because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a, a shortcut on the desktop that will allow us to just double click the icon on the desktop and not have to mess around with this. So I'm going to right click onto the desktop. I'm going to click new and I'm going to pick shortcut. I click on that. It asks me, what do you need a shortcut for? I'm going to click browse and I'm actually going to go to the desktop of the computer. So I double click there. It shows that there's all this stuff on my desktop. Oh, and lo and behold, there's this folder called OBS Studio 25.0 full, all that stuff. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to follow the same directory that I just did to get to the program itself. So I'm going to click bin. That's going to open up that navigation bar. And then I'm going to click 64 bit. And it opens up under 64-bit, has a list of all these DLLs and other folders and things like that. But we want to have a shortcut to what is called OBS64. So I'm going to click that uh, file, and I'm going to click OK. And then when I hit Next, and we can name it OBS64, or we can change it to, say, Open Broadcast Software. When I click Finish, this icon, OBS 64, is now on my desktop. Now, anytime I want to run OBS, um, all I have to do is double click on the icon. And voila, you are able to use open broadcast software. We're going to continue to use open broadcast software here in the future because um, it is the really the basics about how to do a broadcast and how to do a screencast and there's an awful lot that this program does and we'll get into more specifics in this in class but you don't have to like have admin rights to run this app you just simply have to download the zip file you have to move it to the desktop you have to extract the zip file you have to then create a shortcut to the app itself, which in this video we showed the directory that you would find it in. And that is how you get OBS onto your computer. Thank you.